Okay, I was asked the question, it's quite a usual question in different uh, things, which is, is self-inquiry or the practice of the observer or the enlightenment or Ramana Maharishi practice, is that selfish? And I get asked this, I often get asked uh, by many people on different levels, this is at the highest level, is doing spiritual work selfish? Surely I should be doing the other stuff. Anyway, I'm just going to address this question in this video because that was the question. Uh, and I, you know, I mean, um, uh, David Hawkins is my spiritual teacher. He did the muscle testing. Um, and uh, I'll try and be quick, you know, because I do talk a lot. I do, I do realize that. Um, but um, one enlightened teacher, m maybe those who have been in the presence of a, of someone, someone very high spiritually will know what I'm talking about. They, they'll get it intuitively. Someone who's enlightened, which is at the highest level of spiritual enlightenment, shall we say, there is nobody there. They, they've dissolved the idea that they're a thought or a body that has finished for, for all eternity, this enlightenment. But the, the light, while the body still remains in this world, the amount of light and peace and stillness that radiates from someone who's dissolved the ego 100% is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's one of the huge, biggest blessings um, uh, at the highest level, people like Buddha, uh, Jesus Christ, Krishna, who dissolved the ego to the highest limits, uh, they they use the word avatar. Avatar meaning um, that the level of light and whatever words that emanate from that place are so powerful that for even religions get founded around the power of that light and the, and the words that are cryptically said to humanity. And they act as huge uh, for, you know, for the rest of humanity's uh, uh, presence in this planet, huge um, radia radiations of light and words, which uh, pull all the spiritual seekers who are now ready to give up their egos into the light. So that is like, you know, that, Buddha did the work that Jesus sacrificed, Jesus Christ sacrificed, Krishna did the work for enlightenment. You know, I, I, I reap these benefits thousands and thousands of years later that they fully dissolve the ego 100%. So for all humanity, we owe them. We owe them that they finished off the ego and did that spiritual work. Now, is it worth, now he could ask the question, like, is it worth pursuing enlightenment to be um, an enlightened sage on this planet, potentially, it might leave the body, of course, um, and have that effect on all of humanity, or, or, or maybe I should just, um, you know, the garden needs to be done, and I'll be selfish if I don't cut the grass today. So I'll, I'll not do the spiritual work for my enlightenment, and I'll just cut, make sure I cut the grass, go to a movie, and um, and just be, and just make sure I can keep working. And make uh, and be of service to my boss. I'll give up the enlightenment thing for just um, uh, a life of simple service in the world. Well, you know, uh, as as uh, uh, I, you know, I've seen Hawkins using muscle test. I've used muscle testers for many years, and I know that there's truth in someone who can access the truth. Uh, uh, you know, someone who can do it, uh, they go strong. So it's like. You know, um, and you can actually test. Um, so one enlightened teacher, I can't remember, this is offhand. Uh, uh, you know, it's like something like, you know, millions and millions of people at negativity, they're, 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 they're balanced. People who'd commit suicide, who commit crime. If you've got someone like Buddha sitting in, 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 in the country, um, you know, uh, the crime rate, uh, the suicide rate would probably drop dramatically because of the light that's emitting. Now, if you're just Mr. Joe Bloggs, you're not going to have any effect really on the whole country and the whole world just because the presence of enli enlightenment is there. And so it's like, I don't know, it might be something like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 million people are, count the negativity of that humanity is counterbalanced by one enlightened sage. Incredible. Um, someone at the level of, um, you know, like a saint, uh, a high saint, you know, might, to counterbalance something like 150,000. So it's no order of magnitude for someone who's finished the ego off. The, the, the grace for humanity is incredible. Even a saint, you need, you know, uh, probably 
a few hundred saints to get anywhere near one enlightened uh, one enlightened being on the planet and if you're just someone who's just at neutrality um you're pulling your own weight and a few others so so is can you can you call that being selfish to commit oneself to being an avatar or an enlightened sage uh, uh, and to sacrifice that just to do the gardening and now they have to you know i'm uh, i call myself a spiritual teacher and so i have to give the other side to it which is you are responsible for your commitments in this lifetime that you've pre-existingly made so let's say um so i'll give some examples i mean usual examples are uh being a parent responsible for let's say an under 18 um and you have to work to provide food and shelter for that uh, person because you, you you gave birth to them you have a you have a responsibility to make sure you do you do what's required for them to reach adulthood so in those in such a case, if someone asks me, is it all right just to give up everything and go off into the desert and just meditate for the rest of my life? And is it okay to leave my three-year-old kid uh, in the house and uh, just leave that kid and hope for the best for them? And I'm going off to, well, I'd say, look, you know, you, you did, that you're responsible for that kid. So you just need to make sure that you do you do your bit for responsibility as a father to make sure that kid grows up and is self-supporting and, and and not self supporting at least 18 and then and then let them get on with it and then you can go or if you if you have a marriage contract before god with a wife and she says no you know um you committed to me i'm going to honor you you can't go off and do your meditation um, you'd have to take that seriously and do a lot of prayer and meditation and speaking to your wife. But if there's nothing of that nature, like if it's just leaving your boss and your work, well, you know, being an enlightened sage or just staying to do service in a job, I'd say there's no, that's not really a legitimate reason for denying enlightenment. So um, is it, so, you know, so, I mean, it's enlightened sage is like, you know, um, okay, so, for people who don't like um, muscle testing or skeptical muscle testing, um, there's a very simple meditation. It's called um, transcendental meditation. They've done, done a lot of uh, stuff to prove, and I don't think that's that powerful. Nowhere near enlightened sage. Just doing a mantra. I've done it. Not allowed to say what mantra I use, but it just it, it does peacefully calm your mind. But l let's say nowhere near enlightenment. And uh, it just calms you down from being a total in that case. And they said something like in Boston, they did some research when they got uh, a group of people to do I don't know, a thousand or whatever in Boston to do like TM twice a day for 20 minutes. The crime rate went down about 43 percent. So that's that's not through muscle testing. The Hawkins shows like an you know, enlightened sage is that incredible. So it's just another way of corroborating for those who are skeptical on muscle testing. So if the cry, you know, if someone, you know, if you're meditating and another person is not going to kill, kill a person or commit suicide, can you call that selfish? Uh, because you you decided not to meditate and do the gardening. Uh, so you see the context of that with the caveats of spiritual responsibility around kids and spiritual oaths you've taken uh, on on marriage and and vows, which are quite, you know, if you make a a vow before God. Um, uh, I, I recommend honoring that for obvious reasons. Okay, I'll stop there.